Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a, another huge Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins Thrift Haul. This is going to be all sourced from the Goodwill outlet exclusively. I, I believe this is two trips. I'm almost positive. And it's a total of five hours that I shopped. I spent $109 with 57 cents for everything you will see in this haul. I have about 50 items here to resell, which makes my average cost of goods $2.20 per item. That is a little bit higher than usual and that's because I do have some heavier pieces here that I will show you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. I will start off with just a few pieces I grabbed for myself. First off is this boho printed blouse. It's a patchwork print. I just like this really loose oversized cut and the earthy tones to this. The brand is just Impeccable Pig, which is a lower end boutique brand, but pretty good quality, honestly. Then I just grabbed this Essential 100% Linen V-neck by the brand Joie. I love finding High quality basics at the bins. That shirt probably retailed for around $100 and I paid around $2 for it. Lastly for me is this a Nasty Gal black midi dress with a flattering chest. And then it's like a soft slinky material. It does have a pretty high side slit, which is not really my <laughs> MO. So I'll have to try that on and see how it works. If not, I'll probably Put that in my Play-Doh's closet pile. Okay, getting into what I will be reselling. Let's see, we will, we'll start off with this stack over here. So actually, this is one more piece for me. I grabbed this little picture. Something about it I just really liked. It kind of gives me like Renaissance vibes. It reminds me of the Renaissance Festival that I go to every year. So yeah, I'll hang this somewhere. I need some more wall art in my apartment. Okay, now everything from this point on is to resell. So I got this rug, I believe it is 100% wool. So it felt really high quality and it was flawless. It does look unused. It's pretty large and I really like the colors to it. It is very boho. So I will list this in the home section on Poshmark. It's really not too heavy. I don't think I paid over $5 for this. Then I found a sheet set from Pottery Barn. These are 100% linen and I did unfold them all at the bins, make, look for stains and flaws. Linen does show wear really easily. And so I think you, know, you can kind of quickly assess if these had been used heavily and they really are in good condition. They don't have any pilling or fading or anything like that. So I found a queen flat sheet and then a linen fitted sheet, also in a size queen. And then I only found one pillow sham, which was a little bit of a bummer. I looked and looked for the second one, but I couldn't find it. But I don't think that's too big of a deal. Someone can order it, the last pillow sham, either from second hand or, or Pottery Barn might still sell this set. I will give you guys a look at the tag here. So yeah, it is Pottery Barn, 100% linen. And let's see if this has a year on it. These feel relatively newer, 2019. So yeah, they're within the last uh, few years. And I think these should sell. I need to do more research, but I would say at least $75. And with how heavy they are, I would say this is maybe like four pounds. I don't know, I've been off with my weight guesses, but four times 250, well, two times 250 is five, so that would be 10. So yeah, I probably paid around $10 for this. If I can get 60 back after Poshmark fees, that's a net profit of around $50, which I would be super happy with. Getting into a couple pairs of shoes, we have these Teva platform, they're actually called a flat form sandal. These were sold through Free People, 
and this is a pretty exciting find. These will sell for around $40 to $50. They're very trendy, but also practical. These are great outdoor shoes. They did have some surface level dirt to them. I just took some Dawn dish soap, squirted it right on the side, and just used a brush to clean them up all over, and they came out amazing. They're women's size nine. So yeah, I am expecting, like I said, 40 to 50 from those, which is great. Then I grabbed this little pair of Dol Dolce Vita sandals. This brand does have a couple lines to it. There's DV by Dolce Vita, and that line is sold at Target. However, this is sold at places like Nordstrom, so it's a little bit higher quality. These are a genuine leather sandal, very boho, braided leather straps with circular details, some beading, and some turquoise beads there, which are so cute. Leather back, and then you tie them up with these tasseled leather straps. So they are like a gladiator sandal. These, oh yeah, I couldn't find a size on these, but I'm sure I will be able to if I look a little bit closer. Maybe not though, because I feel like I've looked everywhere I can. In that case, I'll just measure the bottom sole and kind of go from there. I'll also try them on. I'm a true size eight. So yeah, we'll see. But with these looking brand new, I was not going to leave those behind. Okay, a couple scarves here. First off is Kate Spade, which we love to see. Very high quality. This is 10% wool and 8% mohair. I love the neutral colors to this scarf. It has a black fringe trim. It's pretty large in size, which is great. I will add this to my mannequin. Very chic and cozy for fall time. Okay, next, this was donated by the same person because I found it next to that scarf and it's also high quality. And I was actually able to find this tiny little tag on it, which does say Elizabeth Gillet. I believe is how you pronounce that, G-I-L-L-E-T-T. -T. So maybe it's Gillette. I think it would be Gillet if it was only one T. But anyways, this is gorgeous. I love the colors to this. And this brand is sold at places like Sundance. And lastly for accessories is this 100% cashmere wrap with a silk ruffle trim. This is so soft and nice feeling. It's a navy blue. So again, I will drape this over my mannequin to show fit. It's kind of hard to take measurements on something like this because you can't really tell where it sits on the body just uh, kind of hanging out or like when you flat lay it. So I do put it on my mannequin and that does give an idea of how it will fit without having to take specific measurements. Okay, getting into clothing now, starting off with an exciting find. I love finding Free People Movement. This is the athletic line from Free People. They also make a lot of athleisure style stuff, which is just how it sounds, athletic materials and styles within a loungewear kind of cut. So this is an oversized hoodie with a drawstring. I believe I have recently sold this in green. I think it is the exact same hoodie. Very slouchy side slits you have the kind of raw edges to the seams which is very free people and then this here is the little logo so yeah this is in excellent condition i'll probably expect 35 to 40 ish from that another great find soft surroundings size medium tiered midi length dress this is so cute with the Beachy coastal blue striped print button down front. So I can call this a shirt dress and shirt dresses are one of my best selling categories along with athleisure style dresses, cardigans, and it has pockets. 
so cute. Let me see if this is, I'm pretty sure, yeah, 100% linen. So yeah, I'll expect probably 40 to 50 from this. Did I say size medium? Another dress and another fun piece. This is by Raina Gill, which is a brand that is sold through Anthropology. This dress I've already looked up and it was sold at Anthro, size extra small, very vibrant floral printed dress. This is so cute. So I can add artsy, art to wear, boho, and then the back has all of this woven detailing. Definitely more of a statement piece. And it was in great shape. I love this. It's a really substantial, slinky feeling material. Another excellent find. I had never heard of this brand, Barrel. But I did see that it said 100% cashmere made in USA. And those are both signs of very high quality. And so I just grabbed it without looking it up. I got it home and I believe this retails for hundreds. I want to say it's like two to three hundred dollars. It's a cashmere poncho and this has no pilling, no holes, really no signs of wear at all. So I'm sure I will be listing this around $100. It is one size fits all. And this is definitely a brand to keep an eye out for. Yeah, very exciting little pickup there. A pair of jeans by American Eagle. This is their newer tag, which I do exclusively pick up. I try to go for larger sizes, but I do buy smaller sizes in this as well. Um, and also very trendy cuts, which is a lot of the jeans because American Eagle does keep up with the trends. These are a size 10 and they are the relaxed mom jean in a light wash. So they have that loose fitting leg with the distressing at the knees. Just kind of a really, just a really easy pair of jeans to throw on and go with just a simple white tee and some sandals or sneakers. We have a nice sweater here. I am going to start picking up more sweaters especially if they are newer. They have a lot going for them, a lot of sellable factors. So for this, it is J. Crew's main line. It's not the factory line, which does retail for less. This is also 30% merino wool and 10% alpaca. So it is a high quality fabric blend. It's a size large. It is also a newer item from J. Crew. This is from the end of 2021. And it's just a really nice, substantial cut and colorway. Turtleneck, wide sleeves, drop shoulder, earth tone striped print, no flaws. So yeah, this will probably go for around 35 to 38-ish. This is their coziest yarn material. Madewell does make the same material and it is very popular in both brands. Okay, next up we have Athleta. And I just mentioned that athleisure style dresses are one of my best selling categories. So you can imagine my excitement when I found this dress. It does look very flattering. So the side has ruching. So it's kind of an asymmetric hemline. And then the body is such a soft, stretchy material. It does feel like it is sweat wicking which makes it super practical. 90% nylon, 10% like or spandex. So yeah, soft, stretchy, sweat wicking. I will definitely look that up. It's a size medium. That should go, I would guess, for 30 to 35-ish. Soma, size small, medium, 100% cotton robe. I believe that you just kind of wear this around the house. So it's a black robe with this embroidered trim and then the tie is sewn on in back so you can't lose it you just wrap it around in front which this kind of design is a reseller's dream because you don't lose the waist tie in the bin so yeah i just grabbed this as bread and butter i didn't want to leave it with the really pretty embroidery it looked brand new and i think it is a really nice useful piece you can wear that around the house while still looking cute and being comfy. 
Banana Republic, size two. I picked this up because it's a really nice, kind of essential office workwear career dress with a contemporary grid or window pane print and pleated wrist cuffs. How cute is that? Very feminine detail there. Also because the fabric blend was great. Yeah, the shell is 95% wool, 5% spandex. So super high quality. This will keep you warm in the winter time, but it does have a little bit of stretch to it. So it is comfy. More linen, J Jill size small, striped print blouse with a button down back and mother of pearl buttons. You guys know I have a soft spot in my heart for mother of pearl buttons. This is 100% linen and I will add in all of my favorite keywords like lag and look, contemporary, minimalist, coastal, coastal grandma, beachy, boho, etc. Eloquy size 26, 28. So we have a plus size piece here. I do love finding and selling Eloquy. It does sell well for me. So this is, I believe, a tunic top, really soft stretch jersey knit. And then you tie this panel at the side. So it's a little bit longer on one side. I don't know. I'm, I couldn't find a stock photo of this. If I could, I would add it in. I'll look once again and see if I can find one. I know it's kind of hard to visualize, but it does seem really cool, contemporary, artsy, with it being a plus size and that really comfy, stretchy jersey knit. I definitely wanted to grab that. Speaking of stretchy and comfy, we have Jay McLaughlin, size large, and this dress is in their Catalina cloth, which is exclusive to this brand. They did coin that material name, Catalina cloth. It is a fabric blend of 91% nylon, 9% spandex, and basically it's just really soft and stretchy. I believe it is sweat wicking. So this is almost kind of like an athleisure dress, but you could definitely wear this to the office or just a day out. Very practical, very comfy, but also stylish. You have a little keyhole opening it back. So yeah, if you do find this fabric blend in J. McLaughlin, you want to add Catalina cloth as keywords in both your title and description. And it should sell within just a couple days because people do keep an eye out for that. It is pretty expensive. This dress probably retailed for, I would guess, 80 to to $100. And it'll probably resell for around 40 to 45. We have more cashmere. This is by the brand Kinar. 100% cashmere size medium. I actually found this next to that barrel cashmere poncho, as well as the navy cashmere wrap with the silk ruffle trim. And you could tell that this person really took care of their cashmere. If they ever laundered it, it was dry cleaned um, because it really just has no pilling, no signs of wear at all. So yeah, this is Kinar 100% cashmere open front ruffle trim cardigan. This is so pretty and luxurious. It's long line, very cozy. And so yeah, this will probably go, I would guess, 40-ish. Oh yeah, these were an exciting find. These are Abercrombie & Fitch, the 90s relaxed jean high rise in a size 32 or 14 long. Abercrombie and Fitch jeans have been selling so well for me. The brand has definitely had a resurgence in recent years. People are loving their jeans and basics like bodysuits, tank tops, long sleeves, that kind of thing. So these are just an essential pair of light wash jeans in a very trendy cut. And the fact that they are a size 14 long, I think will help them sell because I'm sure that's a little bit of a harder size to find. Next we have Madewell. This dress is a little bit older. I quickly confirmed that because it does have the year under the brand, which they have done away with in recent years, size six. However, with it being 100% silk, 
combined with the adorable cut to this as well as the print. I did want to get it. I think it should still sell for at least $25 to $30. It's fully lined. It's well made. It has pockets. Let me just double check. Yeah, this is from summer of 2013. So it is 10 years old now. But I mean, you know, when you have high quality materials like this, it lasts forever. Like this could have been made this year, really. It's in excellent condition. So yeah, I didn't want to leave that behind. I didn't want to see it go off to a landfill. Next we have Chelsea and Theodore, size large. This was just a bread and butter pickup. It's a cream waffle knit Henley top with these cuffs. The wrist cuffs are 100% why I got this. Very free people-esque with the contrasting knits and materials. This will probably go, I would say 28 to 30-ish. With it being a size large in excellent condition, I think it should do well. More bread and butter, Calia by Carrie Underwood. This brand does sell pretty well for me if it has a lot going for it. These are a size extra large and they are athleisure shorts. So once again, they're sweat wicking, they're practical. You could wear these on a very physical activity like hiking or playing tennis or whatever, or you could also just wear them out shopping and running around, running errands to keep cool. But they have a lot of pockets. They have zippered pockets, which is great. You can add your keys and cards in the pockets and zip them up and not have to wear a purse. So yeah, super practical and nice. Next we have Nation LTD. This is definitely a bolo brand for you guys to look out for. I recently sold a top and it sold within just a couple days for, I wanna say around $40. It's super high quality, super well made, made in Peru. It's really like a thick, nice, substantial cotton here. So it's a one shoulder top. This goes here and then you have the dramatic puff shoulder and long sleeve. So really cute piece here. You could definitely dress this up with some dark jeans and thigh high boots or heels, size extra small. I don't know if I have ever found this brand, but I do know that it sells really well. The demand is pretty high for it. Somersault. Their swimsuits do sell best, and these are a pair of pajama pants. So I'm not sure how these will do, size medium, but I thought they were so cute, and they're pretty lightweight. They have an elastic pull-on waist with this vibrant floral print. So even though I couldn't find the top, someone could just wear these with, you know, a basic white top or really anything. Next we have Marrakesh. This brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology. I did look up specific comps on this piece before purchasing it and they were really good. It has this has sold in the past for I want to say like 30 to 60 dollars which is excellent. It's a cargo style romper. It's just really nice neutral color um, easy to throw on and go. That's the great thing about rompers and jumpsuits is you have a whole outfit without really thinking too much about it. Okay, next, I this is kind of a plain piece, but I think it should sell super well based on several factors. So it's Lauren, Ralph Lauren, which is a very reputable brand. People know it, they know its quality, they search for it. It's also plus size, 20W. It is a shirt dress cut, which I was mentioning earlier, does sell very well for me. Hidden button down front with a tiered bodice. So you have a really nice cut with the tiered design, some added interest, and it is also more substantial being a longer length. I'm not sure if this is midi or maxi length. I'll have to measure it, but either way, it's super cute. It's a great little closet staple to throw on but still have some style in your outfit. 100% cotton machine wash in good shape. So yeah, I'll expect probably 35 to 38-ish from that. More plus size, this is Mod Cloth, which I do love to find and sell. Very high demand for this brand, especially in plus sizes. My ideal 
piece to find from Madewell would be a plus size novelty printed A-line dress that has kind of a rockabilly or pinup style cut. But I will take what I can get from the brand because all of it sells really well. This is a skirt, like a maroon color. And yeah, not too much to say about it. It is more of a just kind of wardrobe basic, but even this will probably go for 30 to 32 ish. It's 100% rayon. It does have a side zip. Even more plus size, we have Lane Bryant size 1820. I believe this is new without tags. It's a really soft, going back to that soft stretch jersey knit, probably, yeah, rayon and spandex top with an elastic neckline and then a ruffle fold over panel with this pom-pom trim. How cute is this? Definitely more of a basic piece, but will probably still go, I'd say 25 to 28-ish. One of my other favorite brands to find, Sundance. And this isn't a size extra large, which is great. Striped waffle knit, thermal Henley top, cream and blue with a cuff that has velvet. It's like a velvet button placket here. And this looks brand new. So I'll expect probably, I would say 32 to 35 ish from that. It probably retailed around a hundred. More of a trendy pickup here. I like to throw stuff like this into my cart because it usually sells pretty quickly, not for a lot, but it is, I would say, a guaranteed sell just because it's so trendy and that's kind of what people are looking for. As long as the quality is there, I will get stuff like this, meaning that it's not, you know, 100% polyester, really like non-breathable, cheaper materials. These are 100% cotton, which is a natural material. This has some weird sticker on the inside tag that I'm going to remove so that I can confirm. Yeah, 100% cotton. And yeah, how cute is this like leopard print to it? So. These do still have quite a bit going for them, even with just being a trendy little boutique brand intro. I have sold this brand several times in the past, and it goes for, I would say, $20 to $30, size medium. So these obviously have the boho leopard animal print. They're also in a jumper pinafore style dress, which is another category that sells excellent for me. Natural material good condition, trendy color. So yeah, probably I would say at least 28 on those. Next we have Aloe Goddess Leggings. I have not found this brand in so long, but it does have a good retail and resell price. So this cut of leggings in particular, the Goddess Leggings does sell very well from Aloe. And that basically is just the mixed media, like typical legging, material up here and then this more cinched lower leg portion. So that is what makes them the goddess style leggings. These are in decent condition, really no pilling, maybe a tiny bit of fading. They have that pocket there, but yeah, overall in good shape. They still have the rip tag, which is great, size extra small. So yeah, I, like I said, I haven't sold this brand in forever, so I do need to refresh myself with comps, but I would guess around $30 for those. We have more linen. This is Sigrid Olsen. And this is in a size extra large, which is great. I have mentioned in recent hauls that I like to get this brand if it is in a good material. And linen is definitely a good material. So this is in oversized blouse, kind of like a boyfriend blouse with this beautiful sea foam green blue color, mother pearl buttons once again, and pockets, kind of deep pockets there at the hips. You could really store a lot in those. So yeah, again, Coastal Grandma, Lag and Look, Contemporary Minimalist. I feel like that will fly out of my closet. Hollister jeans, in a size 28 
or seven regular. I don't think this brand has made quite the resurgence as Abercrombie and Fitch has. However, these jeans were in a really trendy cut. They're the ultra high rise dad jean. So I did want to get them, see how they'll do. I'm always experimenting. It's easy to experiment with brands or styles that you're not super sure of at the bins because it is a very low investment. Like I said, I only paid $2.20 for these. So if they only sell for 15 to 20, worst case scenario, I do still make a small profit. Next we have a new tags item, which is always exciting. Oh yeah, this is super cute. It's a long line open front duster little throw over piece. This print reminded me of Spell and the Gypsy and any print or cut or style that reminds me of that brand, I do tend to pick up just because it is so popular. How cute is this? It's a midi or maxi length. I think this is maxi length actually. And it is from Loft, size extra small slash small. And the retail price is not on there, but this probably retailed for around, I would guess, 40 to $60. I'll probably list it at 35. I will definitely add festival, boho, cottagecore, prairie into the description. More boho kind of prairie style here. This is by Intimately Free People, size small. This is a midi length slip dress and this should sell very well. These slip dresses from In Intimately Free People do usually sell quickly and consistently for me. It has a handkerchief hemline, so kind of a jagged bottom hem, textured material throughout, lace trim, really pretty. I will expect probably 35 to 40 from this. It's 100% rayon, so very lightweight and flowy. Back to plus size Livy. This is the active wear line from Lane Bryant. Size 26, 28. Really nice piece here. This reminds me of Athleta's style of pieces that they make where they're really drapey and soft and stretchy. Drop shoulder with a ribbed arm and then draped crossover front. This would be great to throw on over a sports bra after a workout to walk to the car or go eat lunch, go meet a friend for lunch. Where's the other sleeve? Oh yeah, here it is. So yeah, really nice piece. Very practical, very soft, very comfy. More of a bread and butter piece here. This is by Zara. It's a, is that black or navy blue? Definitely navy blue, yeah. Blouse with a very exaggerated bell sleeve. So I can add witchy as a keyword. And this, even though it's just kind of a plain basic blouse, it did have quite a bit of details with the sleeve as well as this cutout and back and the tie. So you could dress this up or down. You could wear this to the office or you could even, you know, wear this out or to a little brunch kind of things. So Zara basic size extra small. If this did not have all the details to it, I would have left it behind, but I mainly just like the sleeve on that. Anthropology Guinevere. This is an older piece from Anthro, but I thought it was still pretty substantial with the longer length as well as the fabric blend. Let me turn my light up just a little bit, see if that helps. Can you guys see it a little better? It has a loose knit to it, and it does have little pockets there at the hips. It is 84% cotton, 16% linen. So all natural materials, long line, open front, more American Eagle with that newer tag here. These are the skater jean in a size zero. So very trendy, whiskering and distressing with this wide baggy leg. 
very much so a skater jean, I would say. These are super cute. They'll probably go, I would say, 28 to 32-ish. We have a sweater from Madewell, size medium. Pretty rust color, wide, boxy bodice with a wide sleeve and ribbed wrist cuff. This one is a wool alpaca blend. And it is also, it's from fall 2019. So that's kind of my cutoff these days, 2019. And if it is that year, it does have to be in phenomenal condition. No pilling, no holes. So that's the armpit there. That's usually the first place it gets pilling and there is none. So we love that. Okay, last couple pieces here. This was so cute. It's by ASOS Design. I think the design line from ASOS does resell, or sorry, retail for a bit higher than just their regular line. This is a size US 8, and it's a denim dress, baby doll style dress with ruffle trims. How cute is this? The wrist cuff there, so pretty and feminine buttons all the way down. And this definitely has some weight to it. I probably paid, I would say like five to six dollars for this at the bins, but I think it should go for around 30, so that's fine. Everything kind of averages out. I do have a bunch of lighter weight stuff that compensates for the weight on that dress. Okay, lastly is Brandy Melville. Very bread and butter. I'll just toss this on my mannequin because it's a wrap dress and wrap it up, tie it. Ditzy floral print. So anytime you have a floral print that's tiny like this, that's called a ditzy floral print. You do want to add that as keywords because it's very true to the 90s Y2K kind of era and people do really like it. Obviously 90s and Y2K stuff is heavily trending. So yeah, this will probably go, I would say 22, 25-ish, made in Italy of 100% viscose. And that is absolutely everything for this huge haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.